In this lecture, we will learn about how businesses conduct transactions, how these transactions affect the financial position of the business, and the concept of accounting equation. Let's begin by understanding what a transaction means. In a business, a transaction takes place by exchanging goods or services for money. In accounting, a transaction is defined as a completed sale or exchange of goods or services. In an exchange, there are at least two equal actions. Something is given and something is received. For example, buying a computer, borrowing money for the business, making a sale and receiving money, paying salaries, etc. are all business transactions that involve money and will need to be recorded. Let's take the case of Web Design Inc. and look at a few transactions. After starting the business, David purchases a new laptop for $800 on June 5th. This is a transaction as it involves exchange of goods for money. There are two equal actions, laptop is received and money is given. David takes up a new order to build a website for a restaurant near your office. David will provide the service of designing and developing the website for the restaurant. In exchange for this service of developing the website, David will be paid money. He received an advance payment of $1,000 now and will be paid the rest after the project is completed. This is a transaction as it involves exchange of service for money. There are two equal actions, website is received and money is given. Here, it is important to note that initially, David may not have to record any transaction unless he receives an advance. A transaction will be recorded only if there is any money received or any money due. At this stage, David has got the order and received an advance of $1,000. Every transaction has an impact on the business's resources. The resources of a business refer to its supply of goods, services, information, or expertise that allows the business to operate and grow. In accounting, the resources of a business are classified into three broad categories, namely assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. The term also refers to the three types of accounts in which a business records its transactions. Assets are what a business owns or what is owed to it. It includes items such as cash, accounts receivable, merchandise to be sold, supplies, equipment and land. Assets also include intangible items such as patents, franchises and copyrights. Liabilities are what the business owes to others. Some examples are payments to be made to suppliers, salaries to employees, taxes to government agencies, rent to landlords, mortgage and loans and interest payments to financial institutions. Owner's equity is the money that the owners of the business have put into the business. It also includes the owner's claim on the assets of the business. These three accounts are referred to as the balance sheet accounts as they relate to the three key items in the balance sheet. Apart from this, we also have income and expense accounts that are related to the income statement of the business. For example, revenue from sales will go into income accounts, while expenses such as salaries paid and bills settled will go into the expense accounts. In the accounting books of the business, there will be a separate account for recording transactions for each activity. When a transaction takes place, the transaction will affect the accounts of the business. Let's take a few transactions at Web Design Inc. and see which accounts they belong to and how these accounts are affected. David has invested $10,000 of his personal money in the business. This is the owner's equity. With an inflow of $10,000, the owner's equity increases by $10,000. This money is also the cash available with the business. The cash is the asset. Then, he purchased a new laptop for $800.
the laptop becomes an asset of the business. However, $800 has been spent from the available cash to buy the laptop. The balance cash available is $9,200. After a few days, David got a new order to develop a website. He received an advance of $1,000. Since he has not yet developed the website, there is a liability on the company to develop the website equivalent of $1,000. This will remain a liability till the order is executed. One month is now over and David has to pay the rent of $500 for the office space. Since the rent is now due, expense will be recorded and a liability will be created. When the rent is actually paid later, the liability will be reduced. Businesses exchange items of equal value, real or perceived. Imagine that an exchange is like balancing a scale. The left side goes down, that is a service is given, and the right side reacts, that is cash is received, to maintain the balance of the scale. Accounting uses a technique to show how a transaction changes the business's resources while maintaining a balance or showing the equal value of the exchange. This is called the accounting equation. The accounting equation is a simple tool that helps us understand how various transactions affect the asset, liability, and owner's equity accounts and how these accounts are related to each other. The accounting equation is presented as assets equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. Note that in the case of a corporation, Instead of owner's equity, we have shareholder's equity as many shareholders invest money and have equity stake in the corporation. The equation will always be balanced. So, if the business has assets worth $80,000 and owner's equity of $20,000, then we can say that the liabilities are equal to $60,000. Every transaction will affect at least two of these accounts. If a transaction causes one side of the equation, assets to increase, then the other side of the equation, liability or owner's equity, must also increase to keep the equation in balance. It is also possible that an increase in one asset causes another asset to decrease. In any case, the accounting equation will always balance. Let's take the transactions at the Web Design Inc. and see how they fit into the accounting equation. The very first transaction occurred when David invested $10,000 in the business. This $10,000 is the capital or owner's equity. In this transaction, an asset in the form of cash is created for the business. The next transaction happens when David buys a new laptop for $800. Both the laptop purchased as well as the cash paid are assets. So, in this transaction, there is an increase in one asset and a decrease in another asset. The third transaction happens when David receives a new order and along with it comes an advance of $1,000. The cash received is an asset. At the same time, since the order is not yet fulfilled, this $1,000 will be a liability. We saw that the accounting equation contains three accounts, namely assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. However, what happens to the revenue and expense accounts related to the income statement? For example, when a sales guy is paid his travel expenses in cash, only one asset account is affected, that is, the cash account. The other account affected is the expense account. Then how does the accounting equation balance? A company incurs several expenses in its normal course of operations, such as payment of salary, rent, insurance premium, postage, wages, repairs, etc. Payment of these expenses reduces the cash. These expenses reduce the net income of the business. Since all the income of the company is added to the capital account, all these expenses are deducted from the capital account as they reduce the income. Similarly, a company receives revenue during normal course of operations such as rent received, 
commission received, etc. Revenue is added to the cash balance as it is received in terms of cash. Revenue increases the net income of the business and hence it is added to the capital account. The accounting equation is represented on screen. Let's continue with our case study of Web Design Inc. The month has ended and the rent of $500 is due for the office space. Since the rent is not yet paid, there is no impact on assets. The rent due will become a liability and at the same time the rent will be recognized as an expense. So the liabilities will increase by $500 and the capital will reduce by $500. This way we can see that accounting equation is always balanced. You can anytime take the balances from the general ledger's asset accounts, liability accounts and the owner's equity accounts and apply them in the equation. In the equation, the accounts must balance. All transactions will affect the business's assets, liabilities and the owner's equity accounts. The accounting equation is applied to check that these three accounts balance. This is a fundamental rule of accounting.